Welcome back everyone, I'm Jay Barino and this is Warcraft 3. We're going to be heading into the third mission. Every so often there are these little interludes, which are in-game cinematics, that's what this is. Jane is meeting two weeks later in the Violet Gardens of Dalaran. You must be wiser than the king. The end is near! I told you before, I'm not interested in this nonsense. And I've wasted my time here. You can show yourself now, Jaina. He's gone. I'm sorry for eavesdropping, Master, but... <laughs> it's your inquisitive nature that I've come to rely on, child. That crazed fool's convinced that the world is about to end. I've heard the rumors of the plague spreading throughout the Northlands. Do you truly believe that the plague is magical in nature? It's a strong possibility. That's why I need you to travel there and investigate the matter. I've arranged for a special envoy to assist you. Yes, Master. I'll do my best. I know you will, child. Farewell. Alrighty, Chapter 3, Ravages of the Plague. Three days later in Alterac, Arthas and his men wait near a crossroads along the King's Road. So that's an introduction to Jaina, who's a very, very significant Warcraft character. It's the first time I think you ever see her ever in anything Warcraft-related. Maybe there was a book or something. I don't know about those, though. Prince Arthas, we've been waiting here for hours. Are you sure this friend of yours is coming? I'm sure. Jaina usually runs a little late. We must help her! Stay your blade, Captain. She can take care of herself. <laughs> Gentlemen, meet Miss Jaina Proudmore, special agent to the Kirin Tor, and one of the most talented sorceresses in the land. Looks like you haven't lost your touch. It's good to see you again, Jaina. You too, Arthas. It's been a while since a prince escorted me anywhere. Yes, it has. Well, I guess we should get underway. Yes, it has. <laughs> what a goof. Our sources believe the plague originated in the region north of here. We should check out the villages along the King's Road. So we are investigating the plague. But let's be honest, what are we really doing? We're trying to level up our heroes. So now we have two heroes. We've got Jaina, who can summon this really awesome water elemental. I really have no idea what her other skills are. One of them's probably to call down those big frostbolt things. Use Jaina's summon water elemental to summon a, a water elemental unit. All right, that's pretty straightforward. Arthas level three, that's good. We also have another hero with inventory. And then we've also got this captain, who's basically a footman, but better. He's not technically a hero unit, but... He need? just kind of shows up every so often, so when light. you get one, he's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and check down Full here to honor. see if there's anything to pick up. Jaina was fighting some ogres, Sir. and one of them ran away, so I wonder sound plan. if they're still over here Certainly. or something. I don't know, but it, either way, it's going to give some XP to our heroes. Uh, Arthas was capped at level 3 at the end of the last mission, so yep, plan. there they are. At least here's one of them. All right. Yeah, Ogre Mauler hit Arthas. That's much. That's That's good. All right, the captain can tank the normal one. Arthas is tanking both of these. That's perfect. Everybody hit the mauler, including you, Jaina. I could summon the water elemental, but I'm going to save her mana. Arthas can take the hits. He's level three. That's fine. And what do we get? A potion of healing. I guess Jaina, go ahead and pick that up. Actually, Arthas, just use yours because they're going to become deprecated pretty soon, meaning like there's not going to be much of a use for those. Let's destroy some of these. Oh, I see a some more crates. Got to get those crates. You know what I'm saying? It's the most important part of the game. Certainly. Destroy the crates. Anything? Plan. Nothing. All right. Well, we did our best. We of got a, a pot of healing, and that gave us some XP. Not a lot, light. but, you know, it's like, what, a fifth of the way through, a sixth of the way through, level three? That's curious. See, that bumped Jane up quite a bit. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> there it is. So, uh... I'm here to help. Yeah, it doesn't For really take many kills in order course. to get your heroes leveled up. For honor. Prince Arthas, there's something amiss at the bridge ahead. All right, let's a go check out plan. the bridge. Of course. 
Look at these stupid kids. You're all gonna die. You're all gonna get turned into zombies by the plague, alright? I actually really look well, forward to it. Yeah, you too, Marie Claire Antoinette. I stand for the light. Marie Antoinette. Why is that someone's name in Warcraft? Here we go. A sound plan. My lord, someone has destroyed the bridge from the far side of the river. There is another way to cross, but it is not as safe as it used to be. Of course. All right, well, we'll go check it out, of course. All right, so we have an undiscovered optional quest. We haven't found it yet, though, so I have to be vigilant to make sure I find it somewhere. Friend. Random guy over here. Of course. I'm ready to summon my water elemental if, if needed. F2 is Jaina, F1 is Arthas. Okay. Just got to be ready to use that. Slaughter them all. Did I leave someone behind? Bandits, run! Of course. Oh, bandits. Let's see if we could save some of these people. This woman's going to die. Save us. Okay, there's the water elemental. He's awesome. How's everyone doing on health? No one's tanking something unnecessarily, right? Yeah, the water elemental's tanking, which is exactly what I want, because, I mean, fuck, who cares about him, right? These footmen are fine. And maybe we'll find, like, a healing fountain or something so that we don't have to worry about losing too much health. Either way, Arthas can heal. I'll check out, check out around here. We saved... Well... I don't know if those are bandits or not, but Certainly. we killed a decent amount. We saved some a people. Oh, thanks so much. I have a reward for you. You do? Give it to me. For honor. Hello? Certainly. Oh boy, a for potion honor. of greater healing. What a thrill. So that's what I mean, like the lesser healings are no good anymore. I mean we've got five hundred from greater healing. Legends say that its holy waters can restore health and heal grievous wounds. That could prove to be useful indeed. Ah, so there is a fountain. This uh, water elemental will probably be despawning at any time here. Oh, Murlocs. I think my Murloc impression is pretty good, alright? I think it's not it's it's not bad. Okay, Jaina's leveled up. What do we got, Jaina? We can't level up the water elemental. Blizzard. Calls down waves of freezing ice shards that damage units in a target area. That seems pretty good. Uh, if I recall, it might do friendly fire. This is Brilliance Aura, Mana Regeneration. That's good, but only for I Arthas. Stand. We don't have anybody else with mana. That's curious. Let's get Blizzard. Sure. Let's do it. I'm here to help. And uh, let's see if we not Certainly. kill any of our own units. I won't. I'll try to only use it on uh, ranged stuff. Are right, you back away? There's too many of you getting hit. I still have a scroll of healing, and Jane has got a lesser whatever. All right, it's fine. We can just heal people up if they're in trouble. I mean, this isn't so challenging that I need to be microing frantically. If I have to heal someone, then I heal them with Arthas. He's at full mana. It's like there's really no consequence to these fights unless someone gets nuked down really fast, which is rare in in Warcraft. I almost said Starcraft. In Starcraft, things die like instantly, but in Warcraft, uh, things don't get nuked to shit like immediately. That's just not something that really happens that much. I'm sure it's possible with certain spells, but for the most part, it's not something you worry about. Uh, let's go up here first, because this I don't know if this area is connected to anything. Footman, back up. All right, get in there. All right, Captain, you can tank. That's fine with the Captain tanking. <coughs> All right, Holy Light's fine. I'm not going to summon the Water Elemental, because everyone seems everything seems fine. It looks like my Footman were missing, because maybe that bandit Captain Leader guy had something that... <laughs> Made them miss? I don't know. There's really no way to know, unless you play these so many times that you can see some sort of consistency, but I wouldn't know. Ooh, what do we get? Scroller Protection. Uh, I guess let's have Jana pick that up. So now we've got another one of those. Apparently I used a bunch of those. I don't remember doing that. Okay, we still have our Orb of Fire, whatever. Not too much of a challenging mission so far, as long as your footmen don't get get caught out and killed. Like, it, it's very easy to avoid that, though. Okay, I think this is gonna... Slay them all immediately. Uh, skeletons? Ah! <laughs> I think this is gonna lead into the new... Ooh, this is a good spot for ice shards. What? Oh, God. I pushed Q. It's not Q. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, what happened? Oh, regional defender, no! God damn it. See, that's what I mean. I, I'm pretty sure that was friendly fire. I'm I'm almost certain. Undead, my lord. This whole village has gone mad. We did our best to defend the villagers, but we'll get to the bottom of this. What do you need? 
Okay, and they were talking about... Okay, there we go. Your footman now have defense skill. Use it for better protection against ranged attacks. Activate to have a 30% chance of reflecting <laughs> piercing attacks upon the source. That's great. And taking only 50% of damage from attacks that are not reflected. While defend is active, movement is reduced to 30% of normal speed. That's an incredibly low consequence for such a good buff. So basically, I want to wait until... Does ca the captain have it too? He does. Okay, that's a really, really good buff. I want to make sure I use that when I actually start fighting things. Okay, so my second objective is to get... Or my optional objective is to get to the fountain, right? Yeah, fountain of health. And then we have an undiscovered main quest. There's no way to miss that, though, because it's a main quest. I'm sad that I lost that guy. Obviously, now I know not to use Blizzard, except only on ranged units. But, well, you know, what are you going to do? All right, um... Actually, no, let's go to the fountain first. Because this might be the way to the actual main quest. Potion of mana. Oh, Certainly more skeletons. All right, look out. Attack. Uh, I'm not going to use defend because there's nothing shooting. Oh, there's one. There's one ranged guy here, so kill him. Okay, let's uh, heal up this idiot. And we'll take out these skeletons. Skeletons? Ah! Just the way Arthas said that. Skeletons? Kill them! Ah! Whoa! All right, let's level up Holy Light. Potion of mana. Nobody really needs it <laughs> right now. I'll pick Justice it up on on Arthas, though. And I'll give this uh, scroll of healing. Okay, I didn't want to do that, but all right. Uh, I wanted to give it to Jaina. Right click is what takes things out of your inventory. What's funny is uh, this stupid thing is right here. Any man who drinks from these light blessed waters will be healed. Thank you, Arthas. Man, I wish I could just turn up the the volume of just the voice actors, but it's it's so quiet. I don't know. I turned up the in-game volume quite a bit. Okay, let's see. If I turn up the sound effects, then like the attacks are going to be super super loud too. So I don't know. Maybe I'll bump it up just a little bit more. Anyway, uh, I used that. I wasted that scroll of healing, uh, even though the the fountain is right there, just because I misclicked. But right click is to remove things from inventory. Right click. All right. Well, let's continue. Still waiting for a good opportunity to defend. It's as if the land around that granary is dying. Could the grain itself be plagued? Let's hope not. Those crates bear the regional seal of Anderhal, the distribution center for the northern boroughs. If this grain can spread the plague, there's no telling how many villages might be affected. All right, so let's destroy it then. Uh, so we're learning the origins of the plague. It's supposed to be very vague right now. There's no real background to this. Some some people have noted, like, oh, do I need to know any lore for Warcraft? You know, because you're starting on Warcraft 3. You really don't, uh, other than just there's orcs and there's humans, and they've been at war, and the orcs have mostly lost. I mean, the Frozen Throne kind of goes a bit more into some lore, like where the orcs came from and things like that, but it, it's truly like Warcraft 3... If you're going <laughs> to look at Warcraft, the true start to in-depth Warcraft lore was Warcraft 3. Warcraft 3 was really how a lot of that started. All right, let's let's uh, let's get in there. Uh, I'm going to use defend now. In fact, I'm going to hotkey these guys to one and my captain to two because I would also like him to defend. Uh, let's upgrade my water elemental and summon it. You back away. Okay, that's what it means by movement speed being shitty. All right, this is fine. Jaina helped them. Arthas, we can always heal if we need, but... This is fine. We haven't lost anything. I will holy light this guy. You can actually holy light. I want to point out you can um, do holy light to an undead unit, so it would deal 200 because it's half damage to undead units. That's that's, that's pretty good. All right, so I have to make sure to undefend I'm here to help. so that they, uh, their movement speed comes danger? back. Certainly. Alrighty, so we did finish that optional quest, right? Yeah, but there was no reward other than the fact that we found the fountain, which heals us, and I can always go back to it. I mean, I'm not going to because that would just be silly, but if I if absolutely necessary, I could. Oh, we got some priests. This is good. We are priests from Quel'Thalas. We've come to help heal the land of this strange curse. As always, the generosity of the elves is greatly appreciated. You should know that there is a granary warehouse at the far end of this village. This evil blight may be evident there as well. We'll check it out. Okay, so the priests also have Dispel Magic. Actually, it's, here we go. Which increases life of wounded units can also learn Dispel Magic and Inner Fire. So these guys, do they have Dispel? They do. So removes all buffs from a unit and deals 200 damage to summon units. Very similar to the shaman, the orc shaman that we saw earlier. But the skeletons, I think, are technically summoned units. So I want, I might want to use that on skeletons. 
Uh, I'm not going to right now. I think that would be a waste. But as you can see, the ranged units are actually targeting my priests. My priests do do damage, but they're going to auto-cast their heal because you can see it's set to auto-cast. Uh, it does cost mana. Is there danger? Priests are not like that medics in like StarCraft. They are not at all. Uh, they... Certainly. The hell what is this? Men shooting at? We're blasting those damn skeletons, sir. This whole flaming village is crawling with them. Well, I could use your help. We've got a warehouse to destroy at the end of town. Let's Thank get to work. Work. All right, let's put on defend. Oh, so I was saying, like, you can't just do footmen and priests. Like, they, the tanking doesn't really work the way it does in StarCraft, where you can do, like, Marines medics. It's not similar at all. You know what? Let's try... Dispel. Did that do damage? It didn't. Okay, so these technically are not considered summon units, because this is, like, the first time we're seeing them. You move away... And, I mean, with Dispel up their take, or not Dispel, with Defend up, they're taking a lot less damage from those uh, ranged skeletons, but still, I don't want them to needlessly take damage. Scroll of Healing, uh, who used theirs earlier? Yeah, uh, I was trying to give it to Jaina, so Jaina just picked this one up and don't blow it. All right, Undefend. I have to remember to do that. I have to hotkey those footmen and do that. The fact that footmen have Defend, I think, makes them decidedly better than... I was about to say better than grunts. I mean, one footman will never be as good as one grunt, even if the supply is different. You know, if you take the supply into account, they're about equal. But mantle of intelligence, What's the plan? intelligence plus three will certainly Sounds put that on good. Jaina. I also want to point out Arthas you use through the whole campaign. So if you have really, really good items, you want to give them to Arthas because Jaina only shows up in a couple missions, and once she's like gone, she's gone forever. You can never recover the items you gave her. So like Arthas in particular, is used through the entire Shane campaign. There might only be one or two missions where he's not there. In fact, he might be in all of them. I don't really remember, but uh, just be wary of that. I'll, you know what? You get to live for today, skeleton. For honor. That might be the mission. I'm not really sure. You've been discovered, my brothers. Flee and continue with the operation. I'm sorry I can't stay in chat, but duty calls. It sure looks like it was sewn together from different corpses. Let's study it after we kill it, okay? Okay, so that... I forget what they're called. Abomination. The this is a, a common undead unit. Uh, I'm not going to use defend because I don't need to. Where? Do Where? Alright, let's summon the water elemental. Water elemental target this asshole down. Uh, whoever is tanking the Abomination can get healed by Arthas, otherwise this is fine. Okay, so the Abomination is really tanky. It does decent damage, but it's also really, really tanky. So, you just, you can focus it, but I would have rather killed all those other units, because they would have done more damage to me. Now, Arthas says destroy that warehouse. Now! Because we're, I think they're trying to emphasize that Arthas, uh, is eventually, he's, he's, he's just, he's all about the, the, the ends justifying the means, let me tell you. Okay, we got it. We can destroy these things. That's probably the mission. It is the mission. What was that? And who is that wizard dressed in black? I believe that the robed man was a necromancer. Obviously, he and his lackeys are behind this plague. Well, it's a good bet we'll find him and the answers we're looking for in Anderhall. I want to point out that if you've played World of Warcraft but not Warcraft 3, maybe watching this kind of brings together some of the pieces of the story, like who Arthas is, who Jaina is, who Kel'Thuzad is. These are all things that have carried into World of Warcraft. It's very interesting. I feel like this mission, this video, has been me starting a lot of thoughts and not finishing them. Something about grunts and comparing them to footmen. I was trying to say footmen are just, I feel like with defend, in the right circumstances, are better than grunts, just because, you know, footmen can take a beating from ranged units and take less damage from them, which is cool. Uh, even though they are, their stats are worse than grunts, but again, the supply differences make them, I think, about equal if you average it out in large numbers. All right. So, this has been Jay Barino. I, I, I'm sure there were other things I started talking about and completely forgot halfway through, but I will see you next time. I really look forward to this series. I'm having a great time playing this, and I will see you next time. Bye.